We're back talking about a COVID treatment that is hailed as life-saving. And joining us with more insight on monoclonal antibodies is infectious disease expert, Dr. Monica Gandhi. Uh -huh. Dr. Monica, welcome back to the show. Thank you. We just spoke to a woman who says monoclonal antibodies saved her life. So tell us, how effective is this COVID treatment? So actually, this is a very effective treatment for more mild to moderate COVID. The way that they've been not exactly approved, it's emergency use authorization by the FDA, is for treatment of people who are not in the hospital, but out of the hospital and have moderate COVID. And essentially, the infusions of the monoclonal antibodies have been shown to reduce the chance of hospitalization after getting the monoclonal antibody by up to 80%. I have a little confusion here. If it's a life-saving treatment, why is it only being offered in outpatient facilities? Because really what happens when you're sick enough, unfortunately, to go in the hospital is it's more of an inflammatory response at that point. That's what COVID is doing to your body. So we have one uh, antiviral that we use as an IV called remdesivir. But we actually, the mainstay for severe COVID is really a steroid treatment to bring down that inflammatory response. Where monoclonal antibodies are useful is before you get to that point, you're actually trying to really give yourself a boost to fight the virus before it gets to the point where you get really sick. And that's why all the studies have really shown the benefit in outpatient moderate disease. And that's where we should be pushing them. Why are we all hearing so little about the antibodies in this treatment? You know, I have to say for infectious disease doctors, um, we're hearing a lot about it and we're mm -hmm. very interested in them. And we probably, and shows like yours, hopefully will bring more attention to it because it is important to know that we now have a treatment to keep you out of the hospital, hopefully. So we need to hear more about them. Doc, another question. And doctor, we've been going back and forth about this all day, trying to figure it out. Let's, and we want to ask you, why do you think people are lining up for this treatment and not the vaccine? You know, unfortunately, I think still in our country, we have more vaccine distrust than we should. And it's something that we have to work on because we are really the lowest of the developed countries right now. We have the lowest rate of mass, mass vaccination. So Dr. Gandhi, if you can clarify this, I know that there is a time period constraint when using monoclonal antibodies as a treatment. So why can you not get this treatment after 10 days? Because actually what happens is the virus is basically mostly out of your system and you're not contagious after 10 days. It's really, again, the inflammatory effects of what happened from the viral damage that leads to how we treat after 10 days. But in those first 10 days, what you're trying to do with the monoclonal antibody is you're trying to get the virus out of your system. You're trying to attack the virus with antibodies that you're giving externally as your own immune system comes up. And those will attack the virus and bring it down. So really antiviral treatment and what's called immunoglobulin or monoclonal antibodies are best used early in viral infections, not later. And something that we, we need to clarify, and I want you to, to yeah. reiterate, Dr. Gandhi, people think that monoclonal antibodies are a replacement for the vaccine. And this is not true. We want to dispel that myth, and I want you to second that thought. They are absolutely not a replacement for the vaccine. Monoclonal antibodies are not a replacement. Really get the vaccine, prevent yourself from getting COVID, and then we don't even have to deal with treatment, hopefully in the future. But even if you've been vaccinated and you get a mild case, these can be used, but they are not a replacement. Get the vaccine, please. Well, that's, that's the message today, today yes. clearly stated. Yeah. Thank you, as always, Dr. Gandhi, for your ex expertise. Thank you. Thank you so much.